What's up, folks? This is Josh back here for another uh, Steelers video. It's that time of the week. Um, all I can say is we day. Uh, big win today for the Steelers over the Bengals. Uh, first and foremost, before I get into details, uh, you know, I do have some friends that I grew up with that are Bengal fans, uh, being from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. You know, Cincinnati's not that far away. But uh, <clears throat> one guy I want to give a shout out to on here that's really cool. Uh, he's got a lot of class. Uh, and that's the A Train 513, I do believe. And uh, he does wrestling podcasts, I believe he said. Uh, but he's a good dude. Uh, much respect to you, sir. And uh, yeah, I just subbed to your channel. And uh, you have a lot of class about yourself. And. Uh, yeah, if you ain't already, go sub to his channel. But let's get on into the game today. Uh, Stillers played really good ball today. Uh, you know, a lot of Stiller fans can say that we dominated Cincinnati today. But in my opinion, this game was really close until the fourth quarter. And then the Steelers just, I mean, they scored 25 points in the fourth quarter. Um but let's go look at look at some things during the game. Uh, AJ Green for Cincinnati, he had a monster game. He uh, had like two hundred twenty-five yards receiving. I was so glad to see him sit down. Ike Taylor, Ike Taylor, you really need to think about retirement. I'm sorry. Um, you know, <sighs> Le'Veon Bell, man. What else can I say? He is a monster. Um, he had 185 yards rushing. He had 50 yards receiving. He had three touchdowns. Uh, this guy is a monster. He is a beast, and I'm really glad to have him on my team. Uh, ben would throw three touchdowns. He would throw one to uh, Miller, Bell, and then the big one, the 94 or 95 yarder to uh, Martavius Bryant. Um, <clears throat> but this game was close until Dalton fumbled and Arthur Moats recovered um, and then Pittsburgh pretty much went in cruise control after that uh, this is a very close division we'll have to see we only got three games left uh, you know Pittsburgh's so inconsistent uh, you never know what you're going to get out of them I would be surprised to see them go lose to Atlanta next week but you know the Steelers today they played really good football um, Le'Veon Bell became only the second player in NFL history with 200 plus yards from scrimmage in three straight games. The only other guy to do that was Walter Payton. Um, I thought the Steelers played really good today other than the deep balls. Um, they put McCain and Blake in and they played pretty good together. Ike Taylor is just, uh, his best days are behind him. Uh, yeah, cl glad to see the Steelers pick up the win today. Much needed. Uh, second place in the division, and they are, if the playoffs start today, they would get a wild card. Um, it was good to see Martavius Bryant get it in the, you know, get a touchdown. Antonio Brown still playing an extremely high level. Uh, the offensive line for the Steelers played very, very well today. Ben uh, barely got touched at all. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, you know, was running the ball over the field. And Le'Veon Bell's running the ball effectively all day is what opened up that play-action pass to Martavius Bryant late in the game. Um, Shout-out to my brother, Mike Brain 70 uh, I texted him after the game. Um... Uh, Shout out to all the Stiller fans uh, that are on YouTube except one, and that's that racist punk motherfucker. You know who you are. Uh, you know, it's one thing. It's one thing, man. It's You're just stupid, dude. You're just stupid. Like, this racism shit ain't never going to be over because of stupid motherfuckers like yourself, dude. And then you want to get on YouTube and apologize to folks. 
you know, if you said that to somebody face to face and you wasn't a punk and you were on a camera talking that mess, you would get your fucking teeth shoved down your throat, dude. You know, it's sad, but shout out to all the Stiller fans out there. Big win, we're eight and five, second in the north. Uh, we're right behind Cincinnati. We got them again. We got three games left. We're at Atlanta. Then we finish up at home at Kansas City and, uh, like I said, the Bengals. Um, glad we could pick up the win today. Um, Harrison didn't play today. Shazier still didn't play. Uh, we'll just have to see where the injuries go from here. And uh, see if Steelers can, you know, turn this. Keep going, man. Just keep playing ball. Uh, hopefully we can get into the playoffs. Uh, we'll just have to see. And, uh. Like I said, big win for the Steelers today, 42-21 win over the Bengals. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of Bengal fans that I have met in person. Like I had told people the story before about when I was in Cincinnati when I was a teenager and they were throwing beer bottles at me. But uh, there are some classy Bengal fans. Like I said, A-Train 513, go check him out. Go sub to his channel. Um... If you haven't yet, go sub to Mike Main Seventies channel. Um, you know, knowledgeable Stiller fans. They're on here, and there are some on here that really don't know anything about football, but they just there's they just think they do. I'm not going to mention no names, but one of them I can't even understand what he's. Two of them I can't understand what they're saying when they when they talk, but. Oh, man, it feels good to beat Cincinnati. Um, anytime you win a division game in December, it really, really means something. But uh, like I said, the Steelers win today 42-21. And uh, now we got to get ready for the go to Atlanta and take on the Falcons. Um, enjoy the rest of the games today. Um, and I'll see you next week after the Falcons game. Peace.